Cam, you want to give us an intro? Are we live? Are we going? That's a yes. What episode is this? Who cares? Yeah. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Unemployable Podcast. Today we have a special guest, Alex Adams. Uh, some of our younger male audience may be very familiar with him. <laughs> like you? <laughs> All you kids must love Alex. All you kids know about Alex Adams. Hope you kids at home are watching. Yep. We know you, you know you watch him in the lunchroom. <laughs> All my child fans, hello. How are you doing? Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's just the innocence in which you say some of these things is the best part. You weren't even trying to be a degenerate. You were no, just, you were trying to be super you're nice and polite yeah, and well-mannered. Yeah. Everyone under 18 that loves Alex Adams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Who is he to you, Cam? Porn star. <laughs> All right, cool. Successful one, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very few of those. <laughs> yeah, I would say they're really, though, right? Thing. Yeah, I would say it's probably... Rare for at least a male to be successful in the industry. That's access. It really is. What did we see Johnny Sins driving? A fucking Model Y Tesla? Yeah, it's depressing. I, a, a while back on TikTok, I saw him driving a Model Y, and I was like, you Johnny, have. please don't tell me that's your car. Please tell me you're making more money than that, Johnny. Christ. Well, because you did have your one friend that He's had got a lot Prius, of jobs. Right? And oh, you were like... Some about uh, Elzante. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, well. It could be that. Maybe. No. It wasn't. Well, there's some, there's some people with uh Tell Cam that story, because I don't think he's ever heard that volume of wealth before with the Prius. Oh, uh, well, a, a friend of mine told me, like, who owns a, owned multiple supercars and stuff, like, um, sold all of them and then just got a Prius. And he told me that uh, it was the best feeling in the world. Because it's. You know, driving around, like when you, you have money for supercars, but then you just drive something, you know, like a Prius with a dent in the back, it's just freeing. Yeah. But he, he showed it to me. It was a newer Prius. I got it. I was like, this is pretty nice. <laughs> I, I looked at him and I was like, because I already knew, I already knew that I knew what he was feeling driving this. And I looked at him and I was like, how's it feel? And he's like, it feels amazing. Freedom. <laughs> you but now he's got, a, he's got a few other, you know, really fancy cars again now. Weekend cars. But he did, he went through a little phase where, you know, he LARPed as a, Person in poverty. <laughs> Weren't you like, oh, maybe I should do it? And he's like, oh, you're not rich enough? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah, he said, like, I, I hope I can do this one day. And he's like, well, you're not rich enough yet. <laughs> I was like, one, yeah, one day. One day I'm going to get to that level. You guys just started a podcast, right? Yeah, it's terrible. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. We are, yeah, we're podcasters now. Nice. No more sex with women. We're, reti it. we're retired from sex work. <laughs> but I kind of heard... Ban it, ban porn. I like the setup. It sounds relaxed. <laughs> yeah, it's chill. Well, you guys are like out on the porch. Yeah. 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 We, you know, you can hear people hammering we away. We do some <laughs> what building the house. A, yeah, building a roof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, we we do some dabs. You know, we take some dabs, shotgun some beers. Nice. Do some coke, and then just we just roll. You know? Whatever happens, happens. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Show people uh, how to manufacture methamphetamine in their bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> For the viewers at home. Yeah, we want other people right. to have fun too and be able to participate in yeah. the channel. Yeah, I get that. Because we, we said it like an hour into the when we were recording. I was just like, does there really need to be more of this? Does there need to be two more idiots? <laughs> like in the world. Yeah, yeah. Does there really need to be like just two idiots talking about super cars <laughs> and guns and, the and, and you know, society, their stupid opinions on people? And it's like, yeah, why not? It's free. Yeah. The only thing <laughs> that probably could have made it better if you're on the back of a pickup truck. Yeah, that would have been, yeah. What's well, Sam Hot special? That's right, baby. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> the F-150 filmmaker package with the big I light. told him I wanted him to get the uh, the new, like, uh, Ford Raptor R, like the new one that's got the V8. Oh, because you were kind of talking about getting, like, an SUV or, like, something. I'm getting the Genesis. He is not going to do that. A Genesis? <laughs> yeah, it's like, the, it's like the Hyundai, but, like, with nicer plastic in it. Like, like, the, like the, the, the Genesis the SUV that, that no, uh, Tiger SUV. Woods, like, uh, flipped over. It almost, he almost lost his leg as he flipped it. Is that why you want it? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Did you have one of those, Logan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want one of those. So For I, real? I, I'm like, yeah. That's what were you telling me you were going to get last time you were here? Oh, or that you were interested in? Like a hundred different things. Mm. RSQ8. Yeah, that, I think that's Range Rover was. was heavily mid. Honestly, 
Fuck Range Rover. Those cars are terrible. Yeah, I would judge you if you drove one. Dude, I don't know what he expects. Because I'm a Range Rover seller. I like Range Rovers. It's disgusting. It, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a uh, Sport SVR. It's a V8. It sounds great. It's, a, it's boxy. It looks cool. But that's the only one that you can even consider. No, I'd get a, a, a full size. I almost got one a couple weeks ago. The new, the new body full size. But then I was like, kind of like, this is, compared to the G-Wagon, it's just not special enough. It's like not really... Yeah, but I think even and they want like everybody wants like 40, 50, 60 k. It was two hundred thousand dollars for. A I week. know that's why I'm like, cra- no, I think you're going through something. I, that, I heard you were driving Aston Martins too. So. I, yeah, <laughs> I, the past month we've driven a lot of the Aston Martin was absolutely horrendous. Yeah, I mean at best it was like kind of mid, but well, for that I, car I, I I've always heard Astons were not good. I've driven another one before, <laughs> so I went and test drove. It wasn't good, but then I thought this. I drove the DBS. They look great. They do. And it's got a twin turbo V12. It's like. But you weren't happy with the drive. It's just so. The ride's terrible. Because I saw it. It doesn't handle good. Like, it, it, it loses the back end constantly. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it doesn't really. Like, so it sounds bad. okay. Yeah. It's just, at the interiors, it's wrapped. Everything's covered in leather, but, like, the leather quality's not very good. Like, cheap. The infotainment's leather. out of, like, from, like, 2008. Mercedes yeah, that I've infotainment. Heard. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and that's I, it's a tragedy, man. Like I, I'd love to. I think they look great. I yeah. think the brand's cool. I remember when I was a kid, I listened to like the Aston Martin music. You know, Rick Ross or whatever. You weren't a kid. That was <laughs> your, in your twenties. <laughs> well, whatever. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> I get it. But I was, and it's like the cars. But you know, a lot of things in life you aren't as good as you want them to be. What do you think about <laughs> Kia Soul? I think it's a solid choice. I mean, yeah. yeah. You're drinking and driving, Kia Soul's the way to go. <laughs> Bro, I remember yeah, I want to start drinking and driving again, to be honest. Bro, I remember like 10 years ago when those first came out, I was I was, I was like talking to this girl at the gym. She's like, I just got a new car. It's really cool. And it was like a green Kia Soul. And she starts playing music. And the speaker, there was lights around the speakers that like would pulse to the music. Damn. And I'm oh. like, bro, if you're if yeah, you're I'm drunk as fuck and you're in this car and you're listening to Lady Gaga, the mouse song, and you're just you just run into a couple people or something, it's like that's gotta be fun. <laughs> I got a like a Hyundai Elantra rental car. I mean, this was probably six years ago. This was like one of the second Audi I had it was in the shop for a few days, and they didn't have any seven? Audis. I think the RS7, yeah, yeah. And they, and they said like they we can you take you to Enterprise <laughs> and get you a rental car, and they just yeah. had some Hyundai Elantra, and I was like, because I mean, back then I thought I was making, I thought I was a rich person. Looking back on it, I was Were you like confused? borderline poverty. Yeah. <laughs> As I make more and more money, the more I'm like, I'm poor. I have no money. Right. How am I ever gonna? How, much, you know, how much expensive like yachts are? Like I don't have any money at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they gave me a Sunday Elantra and I had a great time with it. <laughs> right. I got in there and it, I mean, it had maybe like 80 horsepower. It felt, it I feel felt like so dangerous. slow that it was, oh, it felt, da- it was dangerous. Oh yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Even like getting off and on an exit. Oh yeah. On the highway. It was scary, on, but it was like, it was kind of thrilling. And then it, at lights, I would just floor it. And it, the engine sounded like it was going to explode. And it was so slow. And I just <laughs> laugh and laugh. <laughs> I was like, this is great. Yeah, I'm gonna blow this car. So that makes me feel good that like one day when I lose everything, I'll still have a good time. You could settle. In. <laughs> like, I mean, this is more fun anyway. You could settle into a Hyundai Elantra and be like, "Man, it was good to be back." <laughs> Dude, what like rent it cars? Felt like driving I, like, uh, a lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> well, rent cars when I travel, and I'm like used to the certain yeah. speed of a car acceleration. Yeah. And then when it's not there, but you think it's there, that's dangerous. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh, I'll just cut them off real quick. Oh, yeah. you no, know, I won't. Well, well, especially into an accident. Especially if you're a BMW driver, because that just programs you to just choose just violence. The, the largest amount of violence you can. Yeah. So, you're, Turn so I can't drive. Like, yeah. Like, I drove, like, a Golf R, which was still kind of quick, but it, I was still, like, almost gone to, like, six accidents because I couldn't move quick enough to avoid my own mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> like, you need, you know what I mean? You need that. It's like, I can't go back to driving a regular car. You haven't been in a BMW in a while, have you? No, I don't want to talk about it. Nick goes back and forth from like cool performance coupe BMW type car to then SUV performance car or just kind of mid NPC car. But like the, 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 the golf was disgusting. You know, it was like an enthusiast car, but it was a little gay bug yeah. car. Yeah. It was enthusiast in the, in the, and he got rid of a Porsche came in for it. Bro, so bad. My, was this, I this t- year or last year? It was two years ago. My phone showed me a picture of it. It was like, hey, here's your memory. Here's a mistake you made. <laughs> Remember me. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. it's a picture like in Brickle of the golf next to the Porsche. And I looked at it and I was just like, 
Fuck. I remember texting, like, we started hanging out not too long before he did that. And I was just like, bro, don't. He's on the phone with me. I was like, you don't, me. like, what do you do, bro? You don't get a less expensive car. You right. get a more, you trade in for a more expensive. So don't go backwards. Yeah. And I was like, that's just I'm laziness. Yeah. I was like, I'm a failure. SunTrust, <laughs> Bank, SunTrust Bank got me. I'm at 14% interest. I didn't get rid of this car. Right. I was like, who gives a shit? Just make he, more money somehow. Kim, do you understand <laughs> Nick's way of life? It's disgusting. Don't ever live like Seems this. Little. Can you? Can you? Well, I know you're not. I know you had this year. I know you're not happy with your current purchase. I do know that. Well, just the transmission's yeah. fucking awful. Uh, how many cars this year? Yeah, I think th three. I, I started. The year and it's always you just have one car and you just keep changing it. Right? Yeah, yeah. Explain to Cam how this works. So <laughs> you need to leverage this thing. Maybe you'll inspire credit. Him. You just have really good credit. And then live with your mother and don't pay rent <laughs> and only spend money on cars and tattoos and Chick-fil-A. You writing this down? I think I'm like, I've got like two of those three things down. Already. Why do you think I brought it up? <laughs> you know. <laughs> Tell me to get a new car. But it's like, yeah, in like the past like three years, I've probably had like 12 cars. And I'm not a, well, I don't have any money. And not because of the cars. I just didn't have to begin with. I just, <laughs> I just figured out, I just figured out a way to make it work a little bit. You put right. like $3,000 down and you. New Become car. unsatisfiable. Yeah. Right. It's like, but you can't win. Because now, like, I've gone through everything, every car I could possibly get within, like, reason. And that's when you have, like, an existential crisis, and you're like, there is no happiness. And you're like, yeah, you're just like, <laughs> you're just like looking in the mirror, and it's like, there's nothing well, left. Well, I told him, if you want a good car performance, like, I mean, 500K at least, you know, a million dollars. Yeah. You, just, you know, they're, they're out there, but. You gotta spend a little bit of money. Yeah, you right. gotta. If you want you an all to be around good, to put in the work to. Because like for most it. cars, man, even these like like eighty thousand, hundred thousand dollar cars, it's like they're good at a couple things, but like the full pack. Once you drive a lot of different cars, man, it's like you just you get it. You, you just you just get a Prius and just give up. Right. Just to, <laughs> you unless you can have like I I got like five cars. Yeah. So it's like you can you know. Well, because I'll relate it to like shoes, right? Yeah. Like I have one for every occasion, you know, I have some that hit a couple of those occasions. And the real trick is if you have so many, you're only wearing like 10 of them. You're, well, no, no, you're only wearing that shoe a few times a year. So yeah. it stays in good condition. Yeah. So if you have a bunch of cars, like you're not putting that many miles, you have it for exactly what it's supposed to do. Like if you have to do this kind of trip or that kind of trip, like it's specialized. But you don't have loans on those shoes, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, like nine hundred dollar a month <laughs> payment on the, <laughs> payment <laughs> on the off whites. <laughs> Some people do that though. You can do that, right? Uh, firm baby. Yeah. I've, been, I've been doing yeah. it all the time. Yeah. I was gonna say. Box for I keep seeing like more yeah. like apps or options Yo, to like make payments. There's some shops doing a firm for tattoos now, dude. Oh that's, no, that's they, they'll that's let you like, finance a t-shirt, bro. A twenty dollar t-shirt. It's like four payments, eight bucks. I think like it, companies are kind of saved by it though. Like the bank pays you out, and then a firm pays the bank. Yeah, but it's all it's all like debt collection. Yeah, and essentially yeah. like you're making money off the fact that people don't have it right now. Yeah, in a firm you don't have to have yeah. credit. Well, they just, just give it to you. <laughs> I think you just reached a point in this country where it's horrific to think that someone is trying to finance a T-shirt. Yeah, and right. it's like, and the people like the business people are like, yeah, I give me that, make, give me I, that five bucks a month for that. But it's literally like, hey, you. <laughs> Do you want to pay like twenty dollars for the T-shirt, or do you want to use a firm and pay twenty four dollars? Yeah, and they're like twenty four. Yeah, and it's like <laughs> we thought you were stupid. Yeah, because you see that Mr. B shirt, and you're like, I don't get paid until next week, <laughs> but I Fuck. need that fucking right. shirt. But it's like, bro, it's like, like Mr. Beast takes out loans, so will I. Yeah, it's like if you're, but if you're not a complete booger person, you have a credit card, and you're just like, Bing. You know what I mean? But I guess maybe some people don't have credit. That model to me doesn't make, it's just kind of crazy. I think a firm. Yeah, like, there's a lot of people that of, can't, like, I don't think they even, their credit's good enough to get basic credit cards. Maybe. I brought a no, man. Like, I had a family member who had, like, a, a 470 credit score from walking away from, like, 50 or 60 loans. And they gave him a credit card. And they're like, Capital One's like, hey, we got you. We got. And then when he didn't pay them, they just called our house 100,000 times. We'll do the secured credit cards too yeah that, yeah well like using your debit account or whatever yeah. yeah but that's like you don't get any money i mean it's like it'd be like for like 300 bucks i think well to like build your credit right dude because i for years i had no credit because right. i was like a homeless person yeah. alcoholic like yeah so i my credit score was like a 400 for years like 500 yeah. and so then like yeah probably yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, 
I barely have any credit cards at all. I had one for the past couple of years and I didn't even know what, I never used it. Yeah. There's debit cards and shit. Yeah, he's got the Bank of America debit card with his picture on it. It's like 15 years ago. Yeah. I was like 19 wow. years old. Yeah, it's, it's like the kind of shit they give you to be like, oh, this person is actually this person because you can't, he can't be trusted. He's right. like a homeless person. Basically. He's likely to commit fraud. We're going to put it <laughs> His picture's got to be on the card. But even like five years ago, like I was making a ton of money and like the bank wouldn't give me, they were like, well, we can do a secured card for uh, 300. I was like, I'm bringing in all this money. And, and the, what? And they're like, yeah. well, yeah. But I just, I was like, I'm not, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'll use my fucking debit card still. Fuck it. You can like learn to live around it. But that stuff is fucking important. Yeah, I don't know how to live without it. Cause like I've gotten yeah. so, I've never really paid any interest and I've gotten so much free shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like what I try to tell him, but he's debit card sale. He's like, this is the only way I'm doing life. When he goes to the gas station, he walks in. He doesn't use the, he immediately walks in, buys jewel pods, right. <laughs> fuel. What's the lineup at the gas station? Jewel pods, monster? Yeah, I'll get, I'll get about, uh, about, you know, five, six packs of jewel pods. You know, two or three packs of Virginia tobacco, three or four of menthol, five mm. percent. Mm. Um, he's been getting monsters for me, like online lately. So I haven't been buying as many monsters. That's the way. But then I've been that. buying, like, I'll buy like zero calorie Gatorade. Every time I go in the gas station, I spend a few hundred dollars. Yeah, as you should. <laughs> as you should. Yeah. And not on gas. That's like living yeah. the dream, like yeah. as a little kid. Yeah. When I was like younger. I, yeah, and I'll buy like just different like kind of gum and stuff and like yeah. dumb shit. When I was like homeless, I would walk in the gas station with my like exact amount for cigarettes. And I'd be like, I'm not even going to go in the other aisles because I don't want to tempt myself with a life I can't afford. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now to go in a gas station, drop a couple hundred bucks. Yo, that's a flex. Dude. <laughs> yeah. No, and they love him over there because he yeah. goes the same, like the same ones. They, they know they, what's up. Oh, yeah. They're like, this is our best customer. Yeah. They have a reward system. No, he told me that the guy like one time he went to buy like some weird like pink disposable vape, and the guy didn't like, even sell it to him. No, they sold it to him, but the guy <laughs> was like, "This looks delicious." And, like licked, licked his lips or something. Oh, yeah. oh that's gross. Oh. Vaguely yeah. hit on him. Yeah, because they're like you know like you know Indian guys, and uh, but like yeah, this one guy he just yeah, he was like, "Oh gummy bears." Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was like, oh, can I just can I just spend like no. two thousand dollars a week here and you just don't do anything weird? To right. Me, please, for <laughs> or like, can you like use that money to buy like a self checkout? <laughs> yeah, I. You know. No, he's probably a super fan. <laughs> well, see, the thing is, it's like I don't know, man. Like a lot of times, it's like if I spend a lot of, even if it's like I get Uber Eats every day, and right. I I spend a hundred, hundred fifty bucks on Uber Eats every day because I get like steaks and shit too for my dogs. Yeah, and if it's a lot of times, I'll get the same driver, and then a lot of times, like they end up starting to be weird. It's like I tip you like twenty, twenty five dollars. Can you just please just be normal and just give me my food? And but oh, we were talking about this. <laughs> they're like, day. hey, how you doing? Like they're worried about me. Like they think I'm eating like you know one hundred fifty dollars worth of steak. Yeah, like dude, you're not leaving your house to deliver the same <laughs> steak every day. Are you okay? <laughs> because the driver's like, I hope this guy's still alive. I got to make rent. It's like don't worry about what <laughs> yeah. I'm doing with the food. I'm fucking it. Like leave me alone. I got yeah. like a like a weird meat pile that I just roll around. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> so disgusting. <laughs> You just Let have, me live. I just want to live my life. I don't want to. I'm not trying to hurt nobody. Yeah, like, you really want to know Uber Eats guy? <laughs> They're under my mattress. <laughs> They're under my you, mattress. You want, to come, you want to come inside and see some things? Dude, I brought it up like on one of the first episodes that I think we should get all the pictures of all the Uber Eats because we, oh, dude, all day, half of them are customers, half of them are Uber Eats. It's probably get all the pictures. Five, six hundred bucks a day. Like, and Uber then Eats we literally through. set up like a uh, fuck or not. Like, I'd fuck that or Uber Eats driver. I wouldn't fuck that one. I would fuck Hell this yeah. one. Until you get a 14 year old comes in here and delivers Uber Eats for you because his mom's driving. It's like, hey, go deliver the food. Why do you got to put that on my phone? <laughs> Why do you got to do that? Because I always, think, I always think of the worst and most fun scenario. I get it. I get it. What do you tip your Uber Eats drivers? Nothing. I'm three, bu <laughs> three bucks. <laughs> You're a $3 guy? Three dollars guy. You're 15, you said? I'm like, Every usually like 20. Everything's like, a mile like from orders, us. It's usually like 18, 20 so percent. But the orders are big, so it's like 20. 22. Yeah. But I just do it because I just, you know, I just feel like I make a little bit of money. So it's like, I should just. I get that. But I don't, I don't, you feel I, like don't like, I don't though? like how my app though, it starts at like 18%. It's like, hey, Uber, like to like 28%. It's like, what? You, 
What right. are you, what are we and doing? And then like here? one cloud will come over the shop and they're like, it's raining. Yeah. <laughs> Feel bad for them. Uh, it's like, yeah. how about you guys? Oh, they do how about that? you? Oh yeah. Yeah. They're like, oh, your drivers. Shit. Oh shit. Like yeah, your driver doesn't make any money and he's, he's got leukemia and he's. <laughs> and it's raining. So we he needs more. We haven't paid him in two months. Please give him some money. <laughs> right. It's well, like you guys pay him some money. Christ. No. <laughs> I just want my food. Our, our job is to take the money. Your job is to give it. Right. Pig, pay off. I like respect the company. So like I talk shit about it all the time. Yeah, they're so yeah. like, they're so like. I don't ever use Uber. But like the surge pricing. That's yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. great, dude. Like, oh, it's genius. Care. Yeah. Because I mean, I don't use it because it's, because one, the food gets delivered and it's like not good. And then number two, there's nothing more American than going to the drive-thru. Right. And it's the what, most disgusting experience you can have. I mean, and they created something that wasn't there. Yeah. Like not long ago at all. It was not a thing. Yeah, exactly. And now you need it. Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Dude, that five years impressive. ago, nobody was using Uber Eats. Right. Or Uber. Yeah. And now yeah. it's like one of the most. And now you like can't survive rides. without it. I mean, I couldn't. Yeah. I would just starve I would to death. I would die. Yeah. We talked about that on our podcast. It's like, like you used to have to call apocalypse. companies and be like, do you deliver? <laughs> yeah. Now you just you know, go on your little mind drone yeah. device and you say food hit the food button. I want right. the food. And now they have the other ones where you can just order anything. Yeah. Go like once in a while, I'll do like a hotel staycation thing. Yeah. I'm not leaving the room. Yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, room service doesn't have it? Well, maybe these 50 other apps do. Yeah. I will not leave the room. Yeah. I'll give them instructions on how to get up to the room. That's, that's yeah. the best. Walk through the lobby, go <laughs> yeah, to the 13th yeah. level. We shot at a hotel a couple weeks ago. And then I'm like, ago. leave it at the door. You yeah. Know? We shot a hotel a couple weeks ago, and we were, like, trying to check in. And the guy's, like, looking at us. And we both, have, like, I have a bunch of camera shit, and he's got, like, a backpack. And I just felt... St- they like program these people so bad. Cause like we're checking, he's like, check us in. He's like here for a staycation guys. And we just both look like we're both going to die. <laughs> right. It's like, you see two men come to the, the, De- the Dalmar with a hundred bags. Right. Here for the day. The yeah, weekend? Yeah, yeah. And he's just like, so programmed to be like <sighs> trying to tell you where the pool did is. You enjoy you guys here for a staycation. And he looks back. He's like, did I do good? And like, they have his family at gunpoint. And it's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. I'm like, yeah, man. Thanks. Thank and we want to, like, you know, no, we're going to fuck each other. Please let me just go up and shoot pornography. And yeah. Right. And we <laughs> filmed like, you I'm all over the wall. And then we lowered the, <laughs> then we lowered the value of the room and we left. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like, yeah, you really can't. When are they going to start like a, a prostitution service on Uber? Like Uber Fox, where it's like, you can just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Where you can just be like, I'll take her $300. You could do that. I was going to say, I, could. I just like gave you an idea. idea. I want, I want a cut of that. I need, I need to get an, SUV that I don't need. So as long as it Uber has the raining in. thing and it like shows a video of them walking there. <laughs> yeah. Your you, hooker is walking in the rain. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you got a tip. Now. She has a bad ankle. <laughs> <laughs> Please boost her. They have like a body, they have like a body chart and it's like red over her ankle cause it's injured. So you know, like where, you oh, know, like heat signature. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you know where it's injured. Yeah. Do you imagine you order a prostitute from Uber and it's just like a big fat guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because sometimes well, half the time it's like a different person than the picture. Wait, I like it's this like idea. the it's like the girl's boyfriend's delivering it. Different Wait, let's car. Think about this <laughs> yeah. So yeah. you I'm would for- sign on. What are you calling it? Uber Fox. Uber Fox. Yeah, and like you get a notification, and it's just yeah. random people, and they're like, "It's only a black way. I'll take this." Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like everyday people, yeah. not like just professionals. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I think that'd be kind of cool. Do you know how many jobs I'd create? Dozens, <laughs> at least five. Yeah, at least, at least seven or eight jobs. I mean, for people yeah. who are desperate, right? You know what I mean, I think you're onto something, dude. I would never use that app because it seems like an absolute horror. But I would like to be profiting from that. I would. You would definitely use that. app. <laughs> we would sometimes like I for a shoot. I'd be like, we're just gonna use Uber Fox. Yeah. <laughs> like gonna they're gonna, the it'll have the different <laughs> levels like Uber has. You know? Yeah, like, you'll have the Lux options. And- yeah. And like maybe you'll have like a random button where it just sends a random <laughs> person. You don't know. Who, you don't even get to yeah, see him. As soon as it hits mid from midnight to six in the morning, it's like surge some, pricing. Surge, some yeah. seventy year old man. <laughs> he's yeah. like barely awake. He's on so many meds, but he's like nice. So you fuck him, you know? He's, just, <laughs> he's trying to do the job. Yeah, like some caretaker just wheels an elderly man <laughs> in your hotel room. He's <laughs> like, this is this is Stan. He's got to make ends meet. He wants to work. He he, he likes to work. <laughs> <laughs> Uber said he was too old to deliver. I know you have questions. I do have some questions. Them. Yeah. Because even when I started to get comfortable and hanging out with them, I was like, yo, I got to ask, dude. Because yeah. obviously, the people I'm not, at home have to know. I'm not in the porn industry. Yeah. Well, what do you got? Either are we. 
<laughs> um, I want to know how did you kind of like get into that? Look at all my beverages. Like Thirty. <laughs> how did I get into porn? Join you. Okay, this Nick. Where are your beverages? Come on, where's the bevies? Soon to be gone. AMG key. See, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> this is why you're not successful. Look, we all have beverages. I have yeah. three. But look, the more beverages, the better. <laughs> See, Cam's like, yo, how do you get into the industry? He showed him his three drinks. He pulled out two. <laughs> Join your third. <laughs> he's like, okay, okay. We're getting the process. process. Yeah. Um. So originally, uh, Craigslist. Yeah. Yeah. It's like an ad. Well, when I, okay, okay, so like I was, I was in the like, you know, this was like 11 years ago. I was in the Marine Corps. And I'd found I was fucking people off Craigslist for fun, you know, mostly. Um, I'd <laughs> so just, like before, I'd post ads. Before so Tinder. It wasn't all fun? Not all. The, no, not all the time. <laughs> Sorry. Because I did some, some gay stuff. Right. With gay men. Which was way more fun. Yeah. That's um, where the money's at, though, right? No. No? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. That's the, that's the lie. He said for free. <laughs> he just said for free, so is that, for fun so is that sometimes. I, I legit was just, I would also like... <laughs> hook up with like chicks that not all the time were hot, but some hot chicks off Craigslist for free. But so I was just on Craigslist having a good time for a few months. And then I saw an ad for, to be a stripper at bachelorette parties. So I replied to that and I did that for a little while here and there. And no I was stripping like, experience. No, none. No, I just had a few beers and I just, I put a cop outfit on and I just, Fat women in a hotel, and like I, I thought I'd arrived. I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever done. Right. <laughs> a couple hundred bucks. And, nice. And then I was getting kicked out because I was a degenerate, insane, <laughs> alcoholic, menace person when I was in the Marine Corps. And so I started thinking, like, oh, well, I bet I could do porn maybe. Because I was like, I'm not going to do I'm going to work construction or, you know, there's no future for me. So Yeah, it was time to evolve. <laughs> Which is really, that's the ideal, the ideal way to, to get into porn is, like, to have really no other plants or options tattooing similar yeah. yeah it's like this is this is, this is my last option i have to yeah. make it work plan yeah. z because right. I, I was like let me just so you know i found a you know an agent on craigslist you know i was like well, i'll try doing gay porn in florida and then if that doesn't work i'll kill myself or just work at sam's club well, he's got plans <laughs> very strategic thinker you know and i came down here and i was like this is this is fine i'm wrong with this Dude, I feel like I feel like I've used that thinking to get through a lot of shit. Yeah. Like yeah. if that doesn't work, I'll kill myself. Yeah. And like finding <laughs> finding like comfort in that. Yeah, it's know? a it's not a bad way to go through. It worked for it worked for me. Yeah. You know, and then um see the thing cuz the thing is it's 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 if you're just a dude who's like kind of in decent shape and has like a decent sized cock, it's it, very easy to get into gay porn. You know what I mean? So to me, it was like, I just assumed, not knowing anything, that like you had to do gay shit for a while before you could do straight shit. And I'm bi anyway, so I was like, okay, that's fine. You know, I remember talking to the agent in Florida. Um, I was still in the Marine Corps. I was like behind like a fucking like storage container outside smoking cigarettes. And I was like, I'll do anything, whatever. Gang bangs, fucking whatever. Black dudes, I don't care. Whatever you want. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to make some money. <laughs> I'll do girls too. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever you throw me. Anything. <laughs> Even girls. I'm about to be a homeless person. I don't give a shit. It's like you were part of the gay mafia. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I'll do anything. Whatever you need. <laughs> you got something to suck, I'll suck. <laughs> and that's, I, had a, I had a go get them attitude. You know? I had a, you know, I was ready to solve any problem. You're ready to be a winner. Yeah, I was ready to win. Yeah, I was ready to succeed. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your audition with the with your agent. How you earned your position? Yeah, well, he yeah we uh, you know like, yeah, he like picked me up or something, and then um you know he was like you know maybe like a five five eight five seven like kind of Mexican dude, um you know nice looking like sweet looking man you know a little bit chubby you know probably <laughs> about like thirty five maybe. Did you like initially feel safe? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but- yeah, he seemed nice. He, he seemed nice, and, and we did like paperwork that like I didn't have to do. It basically said like I own you for the next two years. Right. And then uh, he was like, "What?" You know, we talked about a few you know things, and then he was like, "All right, let's go upstairs, and we'll do the audition." And he just pulled out his like fully erect cock that was like at least nine inches. It was right. big. And he was like, "Make it come." And I said, "Wow, talk about pressure." Yeah. Yeah. Damn. And I did. He, I, I sucked him off in the bathroom. He came in like I mean uh, three minutes. That's impressive. <laughs> and that's why you drive a Rolls Royce. That's right. <laughs> that's why <laughs> take notes. You get it what you do. <laughs> that's yeah. how you function under. So at that, like, at that moment, was like, he was like, you're the man. He was like, I got I think you. He said, yeah, good, good job. 
<laughs> Cam needs that. <laughs> Is that like pretty good? He needs a happy ending. <laughs> yeah. Is that pretty good? <laughs> yeah, I just had a, you know. And then, you know. Did, was that a big confidence booster for you? Like, I can do this? I figured I'd be fine at it. <laughs> I figured I'd be okay. But then I realized, like, I didn't, I wasn't quite, you know, and for a while, like, you know, I had a decent amount of gay shoots the first year, but for a while I was thinking, like, oh, I'm going to be a big gay porn star. Yeah. I'm going to be big time, top, gay, bummer. You think of gay porn, one. you think of me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then I realized, like, I wasn't quite, like, I wasn't quite, like, good looking enough. I wasn't quite, like, I wasn't doing steroids. Like, my, big, my dick yeah. was a good, a good size, but it wasn't huge. Right. Um, and so, but then I started doing some like fetish type shoots, you know, where I'd lick women's feet and I'd like be inside like dog cages and they peg me and then, you know, they would chain me up to something and then like use my penis, like, you know, ride it and then like squeeze my balls and step on it. And I was like, okay, this, and I was getting booked by this company a bunch. And I was like, this is cool. All right. So you're like, whatever, this is just a work day. Yeah. So I was like, I'm transitioning into this because like, you know, I'm not, I washed out of mainstream gay porn. I'm not good enough. So, so it didn't feel like a promotion. Well, it was kind of cool. It was cooler in a way to me because it was like, I get to work with the ladies now. Oh, okay. Cause you know, and that was preferred. Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, more, you I'm more it- into girls, but it's like, I've always been like bi. So right. stuff with guys, stuff with guys is like fine, but it's like, but like you said, it was like you thought it was harder to get in, like with the women. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but see, the thing is, like, and as a guy starting off, if you haven't done any porn, it is much more difficult to get into straight porn, right? You know, with the ladies. But it's actually like if you do gay porn first, it makes it way harder to get into straight porn. Because basically, associate, you do, you, you do, know, like, you suck a dick one time, and then they're like, "Oh, you're gay." <laughs> <laughs> you're a faggot. Yeah. yeah. So then, then it's kind of like. Companies are like, well, you have to wait a while. You have to wait six months or a year. You have forget. to, you have to use a different name. You have to like <laughs> say you've never been gay before. It's like a facial reconstruction. And to me, I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm half gay. I don't care. Yeah. So Those I just did the weird. Me. But the fetish people, they were like, they took whatever they could get. Right. So I had a dick that worked, and I was able to do <laughs> weird gay. Like I put a dress like, on. I don't know if this is a problem. Yeah, but I've like, done gay. They're like, getting the cage. Yeah. They're like. <laughs> so I was like, this is great. You know what I mean? Because I, I put a dress on, suck somebody off. That I could like fuck a chick. I could, you know, like ca- like uh, pull c- girls around in like carriages. They had these horse carriages. Oh, so. you're out in the field. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This was up in like middle of nowhere, Florida. Right. It was a. They had crucifixes in the. It was next to a pig farm. They no, would strap like, guys up to this, these crosses and like whip them. Not me, but there was other guys that would. And they <laughs> torture their balls, and huh. it was a good place. There's just like a lot going on, like a carnival kind yeah. of. It's like the food court of sexual experience. <laughs> so that was, and that was my, like what I did for a year and a half before I started family therapy. That's okay. Where family so, therapy came yeah. from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Darkest place on the planet. And then what was that transition? Like, you're like, yeah, I just want to, I think I could do this on my own. Well, it was like, I'm going to end up having to get a job at, you know, at some point at a gas station mm-hmm. because like even those shoots, like I was, they were still there, but they were slowing down a little bit. Um, there was barely any gay shoots anymore that I was getting booked for. So I was like, fuck, dude, I'm going to have to get a job at Home Depot or do construction again. Right. And I was like, fuck, dude, I need to make some money. So I was like, let me start filming my own stuff. And, you know, I'll do like foot jobs or hand jobs. Like I didn't have much money. So I was like, I can't, you know, you could pay a girl a hundred bucks, 200 bucks to do a foot job. Yeah. I didn't have like 800 bucks to pay a girl to have sex. Yeah. But I figured it out. Weasel my way into it. I just imagine the Home Depot <laughs> manager and you handing him the resume and he's like, what jobs have you done? And you're like, hand jobs, foot jobs. Foot jobs. <laughs> or he's just like, I've done a lot of physical trade work. Right. Right. I've, yeah. been, I've been licking women's feet on a pig farm for the right. past three years. Have you ever heard of a naked rickshaw? <laughs> you ever seen Men on Edge? This is a video of me getting jerked off. Right. In a, by a pier. Yeah, <laughs> like, why do you write map on here? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was what my big fear though, man. Like when I was transitioning to like, oh, I got to start making my own videos was like trying to get a job, like getting a job at Home Depot, successfully like lying on my resume. And then like a year later, my manager being like, hey, can you come to the office? We need to have a little talk. And he just pulls up me like a video of me sucking off like five guys. And he's like, this doesn't really represent our uh, company values. You doing all this 
you know. And then, but he really oh, just wants me to death. suck him off to keep my job or something. I'm just like, I don't want that to be my life. I gotta like answer. another audition. <laughs> Fuck. So I was like, I have to, I have to like make my own porn and like make enough money to just you know survive. Yeah. So that's you know that's all I was trying to do at first. What do you think, Cam? You're up for it? Pretty solid. That life. He was like, I don't ever want to watch porn again. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying. He just been like. He's like, wait, how many cars you have? <laughs> I just want to be like, all right, Cam, let's go in the bathroom, make it come. <laughs> you think you could handle that kind of pressure? No. No, you'd freak out? Yeah, terrible under pressure. You're a tattoo artist, though. Yeah. You're permanently marking someone's body. In my environment, though, I guess. I mean, Cam's... Somebody else can Cam's in, in his own... He's done his own cage work. <laughs> and and earned, earned his seat. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Maybe not. Maybe the abuse was a little different, but it was really <laughs> it was the same. More <laughs> mental than physical. It was yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, I don't know if this relates to your industry, but, like, you have to have strong mentality here, you know? Because you have to, like, be able to look past, like, the fact that it's permanent, the fact that someone's in pain, you know, you have to deal with um, heavy critiques and views on like your creative process and what you're creating. And people are super judgmental in our industry, probably yeah. like the same in yours. Yeah. I mean, you, you feel, especially in the beginning, you feel exposed, you know? Well, the key to, to, you know, to my success is that so many people in my industry are so bad at what they do. So if me just kind of making stuff that's like a little better than mid, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of bad porn out yeah, there. Yeah, there's so, you know what I mean. There's so much that's very well. It's like not any, great. any. I think anything creatively, like there's so much shit that's just so apparently mid that it's like if you do something that's even like a little bit better, people are like, there's a fuckload of bad tattoos out there. So yeah, you see like, a good whoa. tattoo and you're like, someone's trying over here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. Yeah, it's like you, I, I'm sure you guys see awful tattoos. Bro, and and that's kind of what it was like <laughs> 10 years ago. Yeah. If you did something a little better than mid, they're like putting you in a magazine. Yeah. <laughs> and then Ink Master came out and now everyone knows everything. And like now you have to be, and, and then social media actually too, Instagram, yeah. you have the ability to view all this stuff everywhere. You have to be really good and work really hard and not only just be good, be able to market yourself, like to even get a chance yeah. to maybe stick out from the rest. Um, yeah. So hopefully, you know, well, cause I don't the same, know if that's good The same enough. thing happened with like being a barber. Like I'll see Instagram clips of these barbers doing all kinds of weird shit. Like they got like yeah. nitrogen freezing guy's hair and then like chipping away with a little rock. Flamethrower. Yeah, it's like, bro, <laughs> it's, it's this weird. weird. gizmo in his hand. Yeah, like, and he's doing dude's like all head. kinds of weird like erotic <laughs> movements to like, and, and the haircut's like $80. Like what happened? Yeah, just, that's like cheap. Yeah, it's like haircuts. what happened is just cheap haircut. going to Supercuts and letting some slightly drunk 45-year-old mother of three just give you a bowl cut and fuck up your hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was getting expensive haircuts for a while and then it hit me while I was in the chair. Yeah. And I was like, what am I doing? Yeah. I could wear a hat. Yo, just yeah. go to the hood, you'll get a fire haircut for 20 bucks. That's a little bit bigoted. No, it's not. <laughs> That's what your boy does. <laughs> yeah, bro, because it's like, I go to my barber, it's like 40 bucks and he's great because he's like a guy from New York. He's been shot a couple times. I've been going him for like seven years. Like he gets it. Yeah, and he'll be talking to me about the vaccine. He's like, hey, yo, Nick, I got an idea. I'm like, what is it? He's like, if everyone else gets the vaccine, I don't got to get it. <laughs> <laughs> Work hard. He's on to something. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I love you so much. I'll come back next week. I don't even need a haircut. He's like, I put it in your hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like he's, and I'm like, this is great. Right. Because like Max used to get his hair cut like every two weeks in high school. Right. And I'm like, you're in high school. Who cares? I yeah, because your mom every takes two, it. Every two weeks in high school is normal. Yeah. I just don't have the time for that shit no more. You were getting your haircut every two. I would go like three months. Well, that's like what I'm doing now. Yeah. I would look like a complete homeless person. I, like I just that. like didn't get a haircut in high school. Yeah. That's actually kind of smart. You had like really long hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We saw the fuck. Yeah. You, you looked for like real me. did? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. like yeah. Hair wild. <laughs> that's like a wild. I can't imagine you would like, you know, Ozzy Osbourne. Dude. I, I would do like the emo scene hair still. Clothes. Oh, shit. Yeah, because that was the you only way photos? you could get the scene girls. And that's what oh, I wanted because they were damaged. Yo, what's crazy is like at point of time, it's like dudes and females had the same hair. And pants. They just had like the. Yeah. Them. I kind of want, want that kind of hair. I kinda, That'd be I just, sick. 
<laughs> Bro, you got to cut hair. I don't know what I don't know what I I get, I get a haircut like every two months, and yeah. I'll usually get like really short, kind of like high and tight, and trim the beard a little bit. It's like I kind of like it, but then I'm like, I don't, I, I don't. I, just, I hate hair. I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna shave my fucking head. I don't care anymore. You should. You look great. I've I've been I've been thinking about it, but my ears are kind of big, so it's like, oh, my, oh, my. as long as you keep the beard, you're fine. That's, what I tell That's legit the life hack. It's just have a nice beard. Yeah, Andrew Tate, you just go Andrew Tate mode. Have a nice beard or like have like five o'clock shadow like him like permanently. Because then you just look like You him. like that? Yeah, it's great. I, like, you know, I wish I, I always I have, have it. it. Yeah, it's dude, I'm just like, it just looks like you're constantly you on know what it is? to rest. You yeah. know what it is? <laughs> just shave once. Well, I guess you have to adjust this based on who you are. For me, it's once every week and a half you shave. That's it. You don't shave, you just buzz it. Yeah, that's the key. Yeah, yeah. and you complain about it the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> to you, yourself in the mirror. Yeah. You're like, I'm going to get laser hair removal. I fucking hate myself. Because <laughs> like, if this grows back, you I'll look like kill a, myself. like a hard money lender, and I love that. I'm like, this is so, like, I'm like, this is great. Right. You know what I mean? Wait, have you ever had like a beard? Like a grown-up um, beard? <laughs> like a grown-up <laughs> beard. <laughs> One time I got so frustrated I didn't shave for like, two months and i think seth was like yeah you can grow a beard I'm like yeah <laughs> it was like but it wasn't it wasn't even that long really i don't know like it yeah. will but i get frustrated i hate it because it's like itchy and like i just haven't yeah, been able to make terrible. it past that point yeah i hate you know? that too i only keep it because if i shave it i look like i'm like 10 years old when i have a red beard yeah. too <laughs> i don't know if you knew that i'm a pirate you're a redhead no i have a red red beard do you really yeah how i don't know Jesus. bad genetics <laughs> <laughs> not like Explains red red the no soul <laughs> yeah 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 that's a good point keep that hidden yeah because I, I i always hated it bro. like the secret to like getting women is just have a beard and tattoos i think it's confidence fake beard and tattoos <laughs> yeah no he's right about like because i i think about like because i don't really really want tattoos very much but like sometimes i just think about getting a full sleeve yeah and because it would just You'd kill it girls would just like me more yeah yeah so, but i i have sex for work so i don't really have to yeah you know yeah because i just feel like i just feel like i'm not that appealing to most women in like real life anymore because I, I i feel like i look like a civil war general kind of <laughs> but i'm like wearing like t-shirts and like just basketball shorts so they're just like i like who's when this? you like get out of the you get out of the mclaren and it's like na kickball shirt yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's great dude and i'm like making a video on tiktok be like how many guys do i have to suck off to sit in this mclaren and it's like <laughs> na kickball fucking like, <laughs> <laughs> it gets like a million views cam you think you'd be a porn star i already hate being on camera what, as are, your, it is. what are your measurements cam with circumference, what are we? Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> maybe like seven, eight. Oh, you're, you're good. You're good. <laughs> you're good. Seth does now. Yeah. Yeah. You're ready for an audition. <laughs> <laughs> we have two audition rooms here at the shop. Three if you count the piercing room. You're right. <laughs> Look, piercing count. room's probably the best one. Yeah. I mean, you do There's POV been stuff. A few. They never know it's There's you. been a few auditions. Yeah. I remember, I remember room. like, in the first year I was doing videos or something, like, I did, like, an audition for... for Because I did a few, like, straight scenes early on, too. Because, like, when you're starting in gay porn, before any of your gay scenes come out, they can get you a few straight scenes, like, sneakily. Hmm. Like... <laughs> So I did like an audition for anyone. like, yeah, yeah. It was like, yeah. They were like, don't, right. don't tell anybody you're like gay. Right. <laughs> You'll get in trouble. <laughs> but I like, one of the owners of Bang Bros, like at the time, I just went in a little room with them in their compound they used to have in Miami. And he was just like, all right, uh, get your dick hard. And I just was like jerking off, like looking at him for like two minutes. And I got like three quarters of the way there. And he's like, that's good. That's good. Okay. Good job. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> And it's supposed to be weird and awkward. Like, I don't think he wanted to see me jerk off, but it's just like. What were you thinking about? <laughs> Good question. I was just, I was just thinking about how happy I was. <laughs> and you could only get 75% off your happiness? No, fair enough. <laughs> I was thinking about how happy I was to not work on like a construction job site. Yeah. Like, that would have to like up real quick. be on the job site at five in the morning. <laughs> I see some of my boys do that. Yeah, I bet they're rough, soft bro. going to work, bro. Yeah. No, like there was a there was a guy because um, I was doing construction out of the after I got out of the Marines for like three months, and there was this one dude on the job site who was like a fifty year old dude who's always drunk, hung, hung over, 
It was probably six in the morning. And he was like, he got out of a bulldozer thing he was on. And uh, I don't know why he said this to me, but like, he already, I'd already told him I was thinking about maybe doing some kind of other job. And he like came up to me, he got out of the bulldozer thing and he was like, draw, you smell the beer on his breath. And he's like, if you can do anything else, go do it. And he just walked off into the mist. You're like, are you, <laughs> are you so God? A yeah, <laughs> couple days later, I packed my shit up in the, in the, Bro, that in the was Corolla. Like your and I was like, your life. yeah, I'm yeah. sucking dicks for money in Florida. Right. I don't, this is, I'm escaping this. I'm living my dream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's to do, dude to at the do additions, very like, little and just suck <laughs> suck off people a few times a week. Dude right. at the additions, like, so why are you here? And it's like, so this guy at the construction <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> told me to live my dream. <laughs> well, <laughs> and like, and like now you've made it. And like one thing I think is once you, you know, made a little bit of money, you realize like you don't have to like worry about stuff as much anymore. And it settles. You realize, hey, I, I can kind of have whatever life I want. And like, I like the one that you've chose, which is like order Uber Eats, take naps, fuck girls, drive supercars. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's pretty good. Yeah. Sometimes, no, I, I, I do, I do like it. And my tolerance for doing anything like well, what's slightly your, different from that is like very little. Cause right. I'm just like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going to take a nap, I mean, bro. What's like, like your routine? Like your, your day to day? Um, probably wake up like nine, 10, um, go for a run. Like comfortably? Yeah, like yeah, you're yeah, happy yeah. to wake up at the time. Yeah, All right. and then go outside with the dogs for a while. Look at scroll like doom scroll TikTok for like 45 minutes on the on the toilet. Then like go for a run for like maybe like three miles outside. Uh, go back outside with the dogs. Then change clothes. Get in the McLaren or Lambo. Probably go to the gym. Work out for an hour. Those are the gym cars. Yeah, normally, but I'll take any of them. I'll take okay. the Rolls. I'll take the G wagon. Uh, drink a protein shake, then do a little bit of work, maybe work for like an hour. What is that? Like look computer like? stuff, like, like editing, like edit videos on Windows Movie Maker, um, scroll TikTok, look at ins open Instagram and be like, oh, I hate Instagram, close it. Okay. You know what I mean, but like, check every yeah, day yeah, in yeah, case yeah. it changes. Yeah, argue with some not kids on, on TikTok, <laughs> argue with some 12 year old about whether a Venadors are good to drive or not <laughs> on TikTok, and then uh, and then play like video games for like maybe an hour and then get Uber Eats and, and then take a, take a nap right. for a good two or three hours. And then maybe go, usually go to a meeting at like 10 o'clock at night. People are going to be seething over the fact that you work for an hour in the whole day. <laughs> well, but what see, that's a, that's, that? a, that's a, that's a non-shoot day. Yeah, so right, on a shoot yeah. day, it's, you know, I'll go to the gym and stuff and then we'll try to shoot it like about noon. We, I mean, put in a good, you know, we try, I try to you know, start at noon and be done by like three, three thirty. But just for, get on the road. for those that don't know, I mean, you own, produce, do the film, star, you do everything. Yeah. In this. Yeah. So he helps then, get me hard. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> best job I ever had. All right. You too do everything. What, what, is well, yeah, what he, do they call that? He, like, yeah. Fluffer? Fluffer. Yeah, they call, uh, it they call that friendship. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's but, your boy. But, but Nick deals with some of the logistical stuff and some other, you know, other stuff. And then, you know, uh, talks to the women for me. Yeah. He doesn't I mean, speak to the women. You put out, <laughs> you put out like banger after banger after banger. Like how, what does that creative process look like? And is there pressure to constantly create like amazing content? Yeah, the pressure is, is never ending. Yeah. I, I, I just shake. I'm yeah. Stressed, stressed out. <laughs> no, really what it is, like, usually it's fine because I just, I try to think of it as like, there's a infinite ways to fuck your little sister, stepsister. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? There's always new way, ideas and like, and my content's already always been very simple. Yeah. I just try to make like the role play feel like authentically hot and natural. And it's always role play, right? There's always some kind of role play for the most part. Like we started a hookup therapy, which is like kind of a podcast thing oh, where I just yeah, kind of like that. We, I ask girls autistic questions and have sex with them. And right. Like what what is this? And I'm like, like you're I sitting there closed, <laughs> yeah. right? And yeah. And then I start like grabbing their boobs, and I'm like, did you? How'd you like working at Costco? Right. And I start having sex with them, and then we right. <laughs> <laughs> like it was okay. Our lunch break wasn't that long. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, nice, nice. Yeah. Which yeah, is kind of cool, but most of the stuff is role play. It's like family role play or. I do like girlfriend role play, you know, uh, like hookup kind of role play. And how but do you come up with everything? 
I just like usually like I'll sit outside or in a bedroom by myself before the shoot and I just like vape for like 20 minutes yeah. <laughs> and just stare at the outside the yeah. and I just I'm like you need to come up with an idea, idiot. <laughs> What's this shoot about today? <laughs> you have to run your business. Right. And, that's, and then I'll just, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. No, that's real. It's just 20 yeah. minutes of sheer panic while vaping. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, because I... But then I'll have like, other ideas sometimes before I go, go to the shoots. Like, ideally, it's like on the way driving to a shoot, it's like maybe 20, 25 minutes to get there. I'm supposed to come up with the ideas. That a lot of times doesn't happen because I'm cutting people off. I'm like avoiding like people driving into me. I'm like dangerously speeding yeah there's no time almost crashing my cars you know right. what i mean talking i talked to nick about just ridiculous stuff mostly politics <laughs> politics yeah tax nice. law you know things. <laughs> important things but it's all you know i got a process but that's the thing though is like i try to just consistently make videos that like i f like if i do a shoot and i don't feel like the content was like good like hot doesn't matter how hot the girl was, like, and I jizzed everywhere. It's like I feel like shit. Yeah, because that's like I'm letting down the my fans. And I'm letting myself down. Yeah, because it's like to me, it's like I love my job because it's like I get to have sex with hot girls and create like videos that are dope. So it's like, you know, that's what I try to do consistently. No, I get that, and I know how serious you take it, and I like I can see the difference in like your videos to you know ninety nine percent of the other videos out there. And that's what I really thought was cool when we first started hanging out. I was like, yo, this guy takes this serious. And, like, this is an art form. And, like, it's not just, yo, I'm going to put this out to, like, make money. Like, and, and seeing that. Like, oh, I shot this. I wasn't happy. Like, we didn't post anything. I wasted a ton of money today. Like, I'm, I'm not just going to put this out there because I spent money creating it. Like, I'm going to put it out there, like, if I like the content that was actually produced. And I yeah. thought that was fucking cool. Yeah, the other day we had a shoot where it's like the girl, a lot of times we film a couple scenes, um, and the second thing was like, she just, she was a nice chick, but she just didn't, she kept fucking up the, the transition of like the scene of like, you know, being my big sister, waking me, I was jerking off, and then she had to, she was mad at me because we were late for school, she grabs my dick, and it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Just because really she's sexually repressed. Right. I'm a liberated man. Right. I wake up, I'm late for school, I have a boner, I'm stroking it. Right. I'm free. She's mad at me for stroking it, so she grabs it. And then can't stop stroking it because she's so secretly horny. Uh, so she's supposed to be yelling at me and then transition into like, you don't think I get fucking horny? Right. I'm not going to just start stroking my fucking cock, you right. pervert. And then she was supposed to get on top and just stick it in. Yeah. And I'd be like, well, you're having sex with me. And she's like, no, I'm not. Shut up. And it was going to, but she couldn't kind of get that mental. So we did like 10, 11 takes and then she got close. Yeah. But then it just kept. And I was like, okay, we are, okay that's it. Right. We failed. It's a wrap. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, you're a failure. <laughs> you failed. <laughs> you failed role play porn. But she felt bad. And then she was like, no, what do you mean? And I was like, I just don't want to try this anymore. I'm not hard anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know, I was like, no, I was like, it's okay. I'm not mad. It's okay. You know, and I want, but it's. So you lied to her. Yeah. I was very upset. It was a rough ride home. <laughs> <laughs> she was nice. She was nice. You know, it's not for, but see, I see as, as trying to be good at this job, it's my part of it is to know, like this kind of girl can handle this kind of like role play and this kind of dialogue. And this girl can't, Yeah, she doesn't, but this girl was like close enough to getting it that I thought that she could. But I, after the third or fourth one, I should have been like, all right, different kind of scene. Yeah. You're asleep. I'm coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> You're unconscious. Right. How old are you? 21. Oh, you got your whole life. You haven't even started living yet. No, I yeah. just got out of high school. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but that's... <laughs> are you 21? Nice. And I feel like all the kids now, like, they just want to be YouTube stars. And yeah, like a lot everyone, of everyone wants to be an influencer Every, yeah, and everyone terrifying. complains about it, like the parents What's like oh my kid just wants to be youtube so like i go around to them and they're like i just want to be youtube and i was like i'm like do nothing else give it all to that yeah fuck school fuck mm -hmm. whatever like if you want to be the best at something it's all that I like encourage you have them to, to do you it. have to full send it for social media i don't know if that's true but what Oh yeah, the liver strays out here on the employable podcast. I'm upset because I spent eighteen hundred dollars on liver <laughs> supplements, expecting to get that physique, and I, you know, I was lied to. 
Liver Queen never appeared for you. No. No. You and dude, that's the thing with the Liver King thing, man. It's like, yeah, everybody's like, oh, well, everybody knew he was on steroids. It's like, yeah, but some people like myself are impressionable enough <laughs> and stupid enough <laughs> yeah. to be like, well, maybe he just work hard and right. maybe he eat. He eats, weird, he eats right. weird shit. So I'm like, yeah. Like, like, there's a possibility. It's like he's, Santa's it's real. It's like he's ridiculously jacked. You don't jacked, have to say it out loud. But he's not like, doesn't look like, like he's not like Mr. Olympia. Like, like a fucking golem. Uh, yeah, but he doesn't part look like of me Chris wanted, Bumstead. <laughs> like, that's the thing. He, he like emphasized so like emphatically a few times, like multiple times, like, oh, don't do this stuff. Never touch the stuff. Not going to do this stuff. And I was like, okay, Liver King. I'll take <laughs> I mean, your word. <laughs> yeah. And it's like. Because you're, cause you're, you're like. I want to be grifted. Right. I want yeah. to believe. I mean, it's the same with everything. Like, even in tattooing. Yeah. Like, people are like, what's your setup? What needles are you using? What are you doing this? And I've done it, too. Yeah. And I'm like, I use fucking black cotton needles. That's not going to make you better, though. <laughs> yeah. You know? Hard work is going to make you better. <laughs> Practice. Have you ever had someone, like, come in and work that just was, like, not, like, or, like, a pro who just was not good at tattooing, and you're like, oh, this is fucked? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you let, like, what do you do? You let them still tattoo? It depends. That's a good question, actually. Fuck people up. It depends. <laughs> it depends. So, like, typically, I don't even look at the artwork. I look at, like, do you have the drive to work? Like, are you willing to give up everything for this? Like, are you, you going to work seven days a week? Can you handle that? Do you continuously improve, yeah. right? How's your mental state? How's your mindset? Um, mess perfect yeah right not there <laughs> right <Drunk. laughs> show me all your medication <laughs> i have several dozen bottles i take right. every day do you have humility the ability to stay teachable and you know uh, open-mindedness to new yeah. ideas those are like the things i look for especially the constant improvement because even if you like suck dick like you're tattooing like you're an autistic blind person like <laughs> if you just get a little better every day yeah it's worse. and you have all those other core values set in place eventually you'll be great that's what i believe yeah. some people are gonna be like that's not true he's retarded whatever yeah but i am actually more hesitant to take on the people that are naturally amazing because okay. i have in the past they're like ego and yeah, because they usually don't have the core values because things have just come easy. It's almost yeah. like the hot girl syndrome. Like you've never had to work for anything in your life yeah. and you're terrible in bed. Yeah. You know? Because it doesn't matter. Because you've never had to apply any of these skills. You're just gifted everything. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I've had a couple of apprentices that came in and were just amazing. Like I had one, his second, second tattoo he ever did. Like he won first place at a big convention. And I was like, oh you know yeah um because how can the ego not set in you're like i'm amazing i'm getting all this praise like i'm the shit yeah and it's like no no no. you have to do all these other things you you have to be like everyone else you know you have to work your way to or you're not going to earn it if you don't earn it it's just going to get away from you right and what has happened time and time again is they get hit with something they don't want to do, challenge, obstacle, whatever, and they rely on the ego to get through that, which is like the worst. Yeah. And they're like, fuck this, I'm better than this, I don't have to do this, whatever. And then that becomes their only survival tool, right? The ego, and then eventually they do heroin. So you think like having very low self-worth is a key to being a tattoo artist? No, but like the humility, like to know where you're at. Yeah. Like if those people could be like, I'm naturally good, I'm ahead of the curve. Yeah. But I'm also in my first year and I haven't earned any of this other stuff. And I'm grateful for this because they lack the gratitude a lot too. I think that person would do well. But you come in, you're like, yo, I'm the shit. I'm better than everyone here. That guy's been to five years, two years, whatever. Yeah. Everyone should suck my dick and praise me. And like, you're, it's going to go bad for you. Or yeah. they could just kill you and take the shot. That's right. That's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's going to get to the top of the... That's how you hack it. Top right. of the, you just be a prodigy and then just hit, just throw a brick at John's head. Well, dude, I <laughs> sucked in the fucking beginning, dude. Like, when I started tattooing, I was so bad. Yeah. Yo, you think some people you've seen are bad? I was worse. Do you think you've gotten better over time? <laughs> a little <laughs> each day. <laughs> <That was cool. laughs> you know? But, like, now I'm grateful for it. Because 
okay, so I sucked. Now I had to learn how to grind clients. I had to learn how to market it. I had to learn how to, you know, have relationships with people in the shop, like all the other things that would like keep me in the industry. Yeah. You know, cause you can't suck and not market yourself. You get no clients. You can't suck and be mean to everyone you work with. You can't suck and talk shit to everyone. Yeah. You know, like you can't do those things. At least not in our industry. Cause just nobody puts up with it. Maybe anywhere. It's anywhere. Amy yeah. Schumer gets the same thing. She sucks yeah. at everything and everyone hates her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like it forced me to learn these skills, which at the, I 100% like, thank God I didn't have the natural talent. I would be the piece of shit. Yeah. That ends up doing heroin. <laughs> You know, yeah. I just did the reverse. <laughs> I did heroin first yeah. and then, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like, and it made me like have humility, gratitude, respect others, work hard, grind, because I had no other fucking choice. Yeah. So like by the time the artwork caught up, like I had those things in play, you know? And yeah. a lot of like the conversations you and I have, they're rarely about the artwork. Yeah. It's like, yo, keep your head on your shoulders. It's a, I mean... The artwork I mean, comes, you know that. It's right, just respect others. Like, track. yo, when we go to this shop, like, be respectful. When we go to the convention, this, this is how you handle yourself. This is how you do this. You know, you treat the client amazing. It, like, all that's, like, what we're talking about. Yeah. Not, like, the artwork. Aspect. Yeah, because it's kind of like him, right? Like, he started, he, like, there are two roads you could take kind of to doing, like, the, you know, the sex work. I hate that word. It irritates me. But it's like, he legit chose the, the hardest route. He chose like the Elden Ring, Dark Souls, chained up, like getting, having flo maggots eat your wounds. It's like- Bill's character. Yeah, but it, but, it, <laughs> yeah. but it does. It's like, he's able to put up with so much bullshit. And, and when I started to my own, making my own videos, it was like, I was nobody. I was some weirdo, yeah. you know, having like an old man suck me off while Dominatrix like, Called the guy gay. Like right. I did weird shit for All years. All right, Steven, you're my stepsister. Yeah, nobody know nobody knew who Alex Adams was or anything. So I was like, I was like, I have to like try to make cool videos for really cheap that are like really good somehow. Right. And I'm um, no one, nobody. Yeah. So it's like, and I didn't expect it. I just wanted to make like enough money to be able to like pay rent. You know what I mean? And like do something I kind of liked. You know. So like I, I just. Was, I didn't take anything for granted, you know? And I was just like, I had to earn, like, every little bit of... Yeah, dude. I mean, and coming and from, like... And like, there's guys that, you know, they've been... They've worked for browsers and all these big companies as male talent for years. And then they start trying to make their own videos and start OnlyFans and stuff. And a lot of their content's, like, it's whatever. It's it's mid at best. It's, like... Because they're not... They're not trying to actually create content that's good. They're just, like, I'm this guy... People will watch the videos because it's me. I'm trying and to it's get like, fame and money, right? Yeah, and it's like not really, dude. Like you can make a little bit. Of it. You're not going to make real money like that, right? This video is soulless. Yeah, yeah. But even like what I do, man, it's like very the, the my stuff's so simple. But the stuff I think about when I'm making a video, like no other porn producer in the world thinks about. Severe. Like, is illness. this <laughs> is the content I'm trying to create today hot? Will people want to jerk off to it? What right. does it feel like? When I, I don't, just the simplest shit, bro. It's like most of these companies don't even like. Yeah. They're just running off stuff of like computer algorithms and shit. But like put this girl, big boobs, yellow dress, uh, her husband's playing video. Like it's so like. And when you create something you don't like, will it like ruin your week? Yeah. That's just, the hit. I just like. Remember when. Punch myself in the balls. When you did like your first. <laughs> over, over again. Your first tattoo that you really didn't like. Yeah, you just gotta sit How there do you and feel? simmer on it. Feel like shit. Yeah, dude. And you're like, this sucks. It's like your whole life. I don't even want to post this to Instagram. You, your whole life, you finish work. All right, so you do you know, a video you don't like. You do a tattoo that just fucking sucks. You're disappointed in yourself. Yeah. Now you're after work. Yeah. Your options in the past were go to sleep, watch TV, play video games. All of a sudden, there's a new option after you do that shitty tattoo, and it's kill yourself. <laughs> And that option never goes away. <laughs> and it's not as hard as people think it is. Mm -mm. <laughs> well, yeah, you have to brag, dude. Well, for yeah. failures well, out here. You know, like if he makes a bad video, you just go into the hard drive and hit the delete button. It's like you do a bad tattoo and that client comes in, they're like, hey, Cam, and you're just looking at it. You're just like, it's, oh, no, like, that's it's, easy. You just leave the shop and go. It's easier for me <laughs> now because I'll your Instagram. Get the cheese cancel. grater out. <laughs> like I can, I can do, a, you know, some shoots and like not put them out or. You know, I can put something in like, okay, this is kind of mid. I'll just throw it up on OnlyFans. I'm not going to put it on one of the member sites right. or, um, but I mean, I'll, I, you know, I try to make the best out of what I got to work with sometimes. 
But it's like just, I mean, like this past week, man, two shoots in a row were just both bad. <laughs> and like, I felt pretty shit. Like I was, we had like a talk on the phone for like two hours just about how our failures and our business is going nowhere. And like a pep talk. Well, yeah, we're never going to succeed. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are our options? But that's because I'm like, but everything's great. But it's like, if I'm not like, I'm just, especially the last couple of years, I'm like in this mode of like, I got to keep growing everything. If my business isn't growing, I'm, I'm a bad person and Bailing. I should kill myself. Yeah. yeah. And part of that is really good, but then you got to watch that a little bit <laughs> sometimes. Go down a dark, dark, cold stone paved path. Yeah. I just get ice cream every day. <laughs> and then kill myself. Do you watch porn for inspiration? Like yeah, yeah I watch my own porn, yeah. So you, it's the only point you should watch. Yeah, I mean, like same thing for us. Like I'll go back and I'll literally stare but at a tattoo that I just did, like for to, eight hours. To me, it's like usually because it's like um, you know, I'll be like editing the videos and then I'll just I'll just get bricked up. I'm like, fuck, this is hot. <laughs> right. And then sometimes like I'll I'll jerk off to some of that and then I'll I'll watch some other ones. Like uh, sometimes like I, like I'll go on like one of my member sites and I'll be like, I fucked all these. Holy shit! For like it's like Jesus Christ, yeah. who let me do this? Like, right. who like, let me have sex with all these women. Where are all their parents? <laughs> sex like sex groundhog day. But then I'll watch. I'll go on. And if it's like if it's not, it's like it's 50, 60 percent now. Like just my own videos. And then the other parts like really weird, disgusting compilations on X videos mm. of just like weird pirated orgies and like just. Dark, dark things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With like music on it, you know what I mean? Like oh, just playing, he just showed, cum shots. He and showed me some of it. It's it's it something. Was, I I well, like cool content. You know I mean? So if I it's not one, one of my videos, it's some really weird stuff, like some like Indian 14 year old, like spliced together and put up on X videos, you know? And it's like, it grows, your acquired taste. Yeah, 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 because I'm a gentleman. I yeah. want to <laughs> just watch fucking, you know, Reality Kings video right. you know, to see. Something interesting. Right. You know, I want like, you know, like videos, it's like, you know. What do you watch, Cam? Alex Adams. That's right, baby. <laughs> Good answer. Thank you for that. Make sure you're paying though. <laughs> I always, I always have been like a, I always have preferred like POV. Have, that was another now, question see, like, I had. Like, have you always wanted to do POV? Do like, no, like, see, right? like, for, like, <laughs> like versus like a <laughs> setup like camera. Up with your thighs. <laughs> I, I never watched that much POV. Like, you know, like eight years ago, like kind of when I was starting, like when I would go to watch porn. Yeah. I mean, mostly I was watching like weird shot out, like Brazilian gangbangs and like fucking yeah. r r ridiculous shit. Well, I feel like POV's maybe grown a but little I, bit. Yeah, no, it has. But yeah. I started the POV out of necessity because I was like, I don't have a camera guy. <laughs> I don't have money for a camera <laughs> Gotta guy. do this by myself. I was like, I got to hold the camera. And then I realized like, then that became my style, you know what I mean? And like, I really fucked with it. And then the more I got into that, like the more I liked watching POV stuff too, you know what I mean? So I still watch other stuff, but like POV is like definitely like a big thing I watch now, but mostly like my videos because everything else is just kind of mid, so. Sorry. Disrespect. Try to hide a sneeze. You just came out. So you would say your favorite type of porn is like POV. Do you have like a favorite category? Alex Adams, Alex Adams. Alex Adams, Alex Adams. Do you have a favorite like category? <laughs> <laughs> Family therapy, access, sex, sex, <laughs> Link in bio. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine on YouTube, you put the link to every member? I really do though. Like I will site. be on, you know, my family therapy, like my member site and just be jerking off, having a good time. <laughs> I'm giving myself the view. <laughs> I, I can like picture you testing the quality of videos with like a stopwatch jerking off. You're like, uh, yeah. Fuck. Forty-five seconds. The last one was thirty. <laughs> well, he's a big fan of. Getting See, what's great too is like I'll still like I'm not very good at sex still. Nice. You know? I'm. <laughs> I'll, he's a, I'm pretty mediocre. Am I yeah, that? like I'll fuck like you know I'll be I'll be like two three minutes in the scene if a chick's really hot like and I'm I'm like come on fucking calm bro I yeah. gotta fuck for another twenty minutes like. Yeah. You know, don't move. <laughs> well, I've gotten, I've gotten good at like, you know, at being able to like last longer and stuff, but you know, I'm still like, yeah, you know, I know how to like make, make shit hot. You know what I mean? And look good, but it's, I don't know. Some, some guys that do porn, like they, you know, they have to like do all kinds of crazy shit to come. And like, I'm ready to jizz anytime, anywhere, anywhere. They got to <laughs> shoot stuff in there. Like right now, I mean, right now, two minutes. I get hard, right? Come. Would you look at Cam? Could you look him in the eyes and come? No problem. Yeah, probably. 
Well, let's do that then. Um, unemployable podcast first. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> All right, Patreon. <laughs> Go ahead and zoom the lens for a sec. <laughs> Cam, this is the audition. Go ahead. <laughs> Just get staring contest. Nick could like squeeze my balls a little bit. Like, I'm, I'm big on ball play. Nice. But, and rimming. That's real. I really like that a lot too. But, and what? Like the licking the butt. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what I mean? No, yeah. I just didn't hear what you said. Yeah. Rimming. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm like, you know what rimming is. <laughs> but I don't like what, with like the ball stuff. I don't like, some girls will suck on it too hard. Like they'll try to pop the nut in their mouth. And it's like, yeah. oh, oh, I just want, I just want your whole face on my nuts. Like just try to, you know, get inside my nutsack, lick on it. Like take love it. T you know, caress it. Don't <laughs> just like don't try to suck. Imprint. Don't try your... to suck one of my balls out of the sack. <laughs> don't try to rip my ball sack out. Right. You know? I had a girl do that shot. once. I yelped like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> she did it. And I was just like, Whoop. I was like, please don't do that again. Yeah. It was just. It was awful. I've heard this little secret going around the girl community. They think it's a secret where they're if they're afraid that their man is going to come too soon, they purposely grab their balls too hard to stop them. Really? Yeah. Imagine if your dude has some weird, like, you know, ball torture fetish and you try and do that. He just immediately just, yeah. oh. boom. <laughs> I've never tried that. I might try to do that. <laughs> to be yeah, better yeah. at my job. You're going to you're gonna crush, you're gonna crush your test. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give myself like, I'm going to be fucking up this one. Like a, little, like a little tap in the nuts. I'm like, ah. <laughs> But I've, I've had this theory, man, because like when I used to years ago work at that weird, you know, you know, BDSM uh, farm place, because um, there was guys that would come, they wouldn't get paid, and like their thing, they'd, they'd like chain them up and whip them because they were just like into that, or they, you know, a lot of times they'd be wearing like, you know, like leather masks and stuff, you know, so their wife and children wouldn't see them being tortured on the fetish website, uh, but there was guys that would come to and they'd get, dad? yeah, like they'd get kicked no, in the balls. Not like they were into just getting their balls tortured and like there'd be three women sometimes wearing like, you know, like boots, big boots. And they'd just be like, just mercilessly kicking this dude in the nuts. Right. And I'd see him like get boners and shit. A lot of times mm. they could kick the nuts for two minutes and then just immediately just like pop up raging right. boner. Right. And I was just terrified, but it's like exhilarating. It's it was like, wow, right. this is, but then part of me's wondered like, is that cause that initial, like even just like a good solid tap in the balls, hurts terribly yeah. to me and most guys, I feel like. But if you, it, maybe there's like a threshold. If you do like two, three good hits, then it starts feeling good, mm. maybe. Because <laughs> that's how you get maybe. into like, yeah, you get <laughs> right. into it. And I've just never gotten past that. Point. Could you imagine how horrific, you have to go through like the most excruciating pain possible to get just a little bit of pleasure. No, but then maybe it feels amazing. Well, dude, we'll, you, like, <laughs> we'll get that. Like I've had here and there clients that just like get off on the pain of tattooing. Yeah. yeah well, Honestly, it's kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> they're like, they're like, like I can't me, wait. They, they love it. And they're like, oh. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, I can't like, wait for the second in, session. And they're like moaning. <laughs> and and when I know it's real is like when they're trying to hide the fact that they're moaning. Yeah, like when it's a soft moan. Yeah, there's some Ooh. like fakers that just like do it for attention yeah. you know they're like oh you know and you're like all right whatever <laughs> like i'll help you find your dad uh, <laughs> and then there's some they're like <clears throat> and i'm like oh no <laughs> it's one of them you're breathing a little heavy and you're like oh they love this right yeah well because remember i wanted you to make a tiktok where like you put the stencil on me and you like step away for a second. You come back and I'm just like immediately bricked up. I wish we fucking made that. I did. That. I, I been so good. It would have got immediately taken yeah. down. God, it would have. Well, been that so was good. like in the in the early days for me pants? creating content where yeah, like, like I had all ago. these things that we wanted to do. Yeah. And then once I got banned a couple of times, they like crushed my dreams. Yeah. Because I'm can't like you can't, have can't even have fun. Yeah. I remember we were trying to figure out how to make it look like I had a boner. Like I was trying to put like a water bottle down my pants yeah. or something. I should have just taken a bunch of blue. It's like when you start up. driving, like when you learn to drive a car and you're like, this is sick. You're like doing donuts. You're like driving over curbs and then you get a ticket. Yeah. Like you can't fucking do or that. You have to drive with the other people on the road and you're like, oh no, this is actually terrible. Right. And then eventually you just fucking stay in your lane. You follow the, follow the law. That's right. You're like, I don't want to deal with the consequences. That's right. That's big. what social media is Talk like. Talk about tribal me. tattoos a little bit more <laughs> right. like that. That's right. The minions like that. Yeah, that's true. But it would have been such a good idea. There needs to be a platform where you can make just absolutely awful jokes. Twitter. Yeah, that's yeah. But Twitter sucks. He got banned off Twitter for nothing. What the fuck happened? I heard about that. I don't know. Like they they said they said that it's 
something about like that I posted content I didn't have permission to post. Like, like I didn't have rights? my consent. Yeah. Yeah. And I emailed them back like 20 times. Like what paperwork do you, like I have all the paperwork. I have model releases. I have intro and outro videos. Right. Consent. Like, but they just Elon bought Twitter. He's like, guess what? You can say the N word now on Twitter. Well, there's you like, post this video. They're like, bam. Well, now there's yeah. like 10 people Dead. working at Twitter. So it's like, I feel like I've just had robots talking like nobody, you know? Yeah. But I don't know what it was. Just Tesla bots. Yeah. Cause I didn't, my Twitter wasn't like, cause that's the thing is like per their, even like their rules and shit. It's like, you're, they're like, you're allowed to fuck. You're allowed to suck. You're allowed to post videos, your balls, you know, your butthole, like whatever you want. Just don't <laughs> like, you're allowed to like, D destroy your testicles right. on live but it's like i'm like well, what the fuck was i doing i wasn't like doing anything you know but i think some people probably like got mad at me or somebody and then like reported and, and said like oh that i don't give him permission to post that <laughs> i reported to twitter i took it. <laughs> it was me it was me but now it's like i because i'm probably not gonna get the account back but i'm just so late i don't want to make another I'm, I'm gonna have to make another twitter but it's been like a month and i just I'm just like, God damn it. They can help you. <sighs> I don't want to. He, like <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't like to do too much work. I get it. I hate, I just hate. He, he was trying to make a, a, a YouTube banner for our new YouTube channel for a podcast. Such a nightmare, dude. And I'm like, what, like he's, I sent him like some pictures to put on it, like a picture of my car. And he's like, it doesn't fit. And I'm like, resize it. Bro, he sent me. Don't a, you know how to use computers? He sent me a Just fuck, do your job. He sent me a screenshot of an Instagram post. <laughs> 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 Give me a break, bro. I'm, I'm at least a little bit competent. But this motherfucker sent me the seven hells of screenshots and like, just make it this. And it's a picture of the Rolls Royce at a gas station. <laughs> <laughs> make this the YouTube bet. <laughs> Listen, I get it. And I spent like an hour and a half. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, he knows the hell. And yeah. I'm like, trying to fuck with it. I'm like, this is AIDS. I hate yeah. this. I was like, I'm like, I'm going to just ask Danny to do it or how to do it because he's a real graphic design person. <laughs> or have like, you have someone who knows how to fuck with Photoshop. Yeah. Because it's like, you resize it and then it doesn't, it doesn't work. It's everybody else's fault, you know? Obviously. Blaming it on everybody. Right. Blaming a, a multi-billion dollar company that obviously would not make something that was- I'm like so tired of my labor <laughs> being exploited by the rich. <laughs> <laughs> Wealthy people stepping on the backs of good, hardworking Americans. I don't even have a fucking boat yet. This man <laughs> wants to complain to me about that he has to, I'm exploiting him. He's only begun to be exploited. <laughs> I'm embarrassed for you. It's only started. <laughs> I only have five cars. Five cars, that's no pa boat. That's pathetic. You just want to make a fucking has YouTube five cars. Man. I can't believe. And it. a bunch of my cars are are old. They're used. My Rolls Royce is 2017. That's and it's from Long Island. That's gross. He sacrifices <laughs> for you to live. Yeah, that's you what, complain yeah. about screenshot YouTube banners. I should be grateful. That's right. <laughs> I am grateful. I'm grateful I don't have to have sex. That's a honest Because, <laughs> bro, people have. People We're going to force them to have sex soon. I don't want to do that. Because people ask me, they're like, do you like fuck the girls? I'm the like, girl, God, listen, no. Because he's covered in tattoos and looks viciously mentally ill, girls are very attracted to him. Bro, I don't These girls, that. like, they're like, come on set and they're like, oh, I have to have sex with this. They have done that a couple they're like, times. They're like, I want to. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm like, they see a blacked out leg. And it's over. Yeah. You just come. Because they they'll ask to be like, oh, so I'm shooting with you and him? And I'm like, oh, Christ, no. Right. <laughs> Lady, I just do the paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we're not doing any I'm of gonna this. Do, I'm going to do, I'm doing anal with, with Nick. And I'm like, no, no, that's not, no. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to be your little brother. And right. <laughs> you're like, I don't want to do that. I'm like, like, yeah, well, that's I'm, what makes, what's what we're doing. But I'm like, <laughs> I'm like. You signed the paper. Because <laughs> yeah. dude, people be like, yo, you fucked the girls. Like, you ever get upset that you don't get to, I'm like, it's a blessing that I don't have to do any of this shit. This right. is physical labor. Every Every single day. <laughs> right. It's like, bro, I don't want to do any of that. You're like, uh, I'm trying to make a YouTube banner over here. <laughs> Please don't bother. I'm me. like, I'm six weeks into trying to make this Rolls Royce at a gas station YouTube banner. I don't have time for Leave me alone. Clicks on Auto Trader app. <laughs> yeah, he's, like looking at, he's just looking at cars. Oh, yeah. I yeah, I built him a Con GTS the other day while he, while he was filming. And he came down and I was like, look at my spec. Right. <laughs> look at the screen. I was like, that's pretty nice. It good was job. nice. It was red with the white and it was good. But it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to do any of that, bro. He's got the hardest. It's not. It's like when we first started hanging out and like Mackenzie was telling me about him. And he's like, he makes a lot of money doing porn. I'm like, he must be selling drugs. You don't right. make any money doing that. Right. And then like, I thought it was a complete joke. I'm like, yeah, so he just fucks for a little bit and you film it and it's like, oh, yeah. But it's like when you actually like go to a shoot and you see it and like you talk to him, it's like, oh, no, he really gives a shit about it. It's like right. an art thing. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like a lot of work, bro. 
It's like you're getting different angles. I'm yelling at women with a boner multiple times a week. Yeah. Hey, hey can you make it good? I mean, dude, it has to be. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> well, because it's like, it's like you have to have sex and still like be able to focus on your job. Right. It's like you can't just be like, oh, it feels so good. I'm going to come. Like, you can't do that. <laughs> you got to be like. You got to make this convincing. Yeah. You got to be like, oh, this angle is good. You know what I mean? Like, well, a lot of it, too, though, is like, I'm, you know, I'm very nice to ladies most of the time. Yeah. No, he's a nice man. But he's I, a good man. <laughs> <laughs> what about off But the it's camera? like, it's like, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to make the videos feel a certain way. And then, and then too, it's like, man, a lot of other producers and companies make my job harder because, like, they teach these girls like terrible habits. They're like, like what? Make a lot of noise. Right. Ah, ah, and they're like, louder, louder. They want to hear. It's like, I'll, I'll, sometimes I'll be Let's like, all do it together. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone on set is, oh, and fuck I, yeah. I'll have to cut and I'll be like, hey, you don't go. Now flags. You're, 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 really, you're really hot. <laughs> you're doing good, but don't st do that. As much. Like right. try to not make his... Try to right. be more real. And they're like, what's real sex? And I'm like, well, <laughs> do, do it. let's just try it again. Let's try to do another <laughs> Like, I'll be like, this is home the camera. And then I'll just be like, off camera, I'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like doing that. And I'll be like, I don't know what that means. I'll be like, it's, well, all right. Like, sign, doing <laughs> yeah. Language. Well, yeah, because like they're, like they're trained where like you touch them and they're like, oh, like immediately. Right. Like, and it's like, you're not supposed to. That's not how real sex this works. This isn't convincing. Yeah. Like, I mean, you're I don't daddy, know how... you're like, I'm your brother. And, that, and that's the thing dad. to me. It's just like, you, I mean, to really be good at this as a guy, like you have to be a pretty big, like pervert, degenerate person, right. you have to be which is like most of the girls I film with are really hot, but like there's a lot of different girls' personalities you got to deal with. You got to, you know, I mean like. Now, are you trying to get in the perspective of the viewer, correct? Yeah. Like, and I want. Like, that's what you're trying to stay in tune with? Yeah. Like what's, what's going to feel hot? What's going to like. But viewer. just me is like I'm a degenerate, long time porn addict person. So it's yeah. like you I, don't say I, the a word here. <laughs> porn enthusiast, enthusiast, yeah, porn consumer, enthusiast. enjoyer. Right. I like consumer. But I'm, I'm just trying yeah. to be. It's like somebody like who's going to be watching it, which I am going to be watching it later and beating off. <laughs> right. Like this needs to feel hot. This needs to like, you know. Right. Do, but, you, do you choose who you get to work with? Yeah. So you get like kind of picky now. Yeah. So it's like I'll, I'll have girls. You know, when I used to have a you know, Twitter, but like girls will hit me up and do like, we'll do like trade shoots where they'll on the video, I'll own it. We're like, cause I have I, agents too, that like agents, they find girls different places, like on the street corners or like in public, Walmart, or whatever. <laughs> and then they'll like get girls. And then the, then the agents send me like emails are like, Hey, these couple girls are available. They're in town. And I'll look at the, and I'll be like, this girl's mid and I don't want to shoot with her. <laughs> I'll be like, Oh, this one's kind of hot. And I'll be like, is she available this day? And I'll be like, no. And I'll be like, Oh, God damn it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm baby. <laughs> but it's pretty, there's always like down here, there's like a lot of different girls all the time. I like that question though. Could you imagine you didn't get to choose who you shot with? Yeah, you're just like, the girl just you're fucking up. this like, girl today. See, I would be, I would be okay with that too because I can fuck anything and have a good time. That's the thing I just want the viewers <laughs> out there to know is that I'm having a good time no matter what. <laughs> Sometimes I may be stressed and maybe like, God damn it, I wish, would you stop doing this or like this needs to be better. But I'm still, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I got, a, I got a boner. I'm putting it in somebody. Right. At the end of the day, it's a W. Right. You know? if but I'm, if it's not, you know, I'm trying to make it art too at the same time. If I'm the viewer, I'm like, man, this dude really is his own biggest fucking fan. <laughs> yeah. Whoever's having the most fun wins. Yeah. Maybe yeah. In your case, whoever's having the most calm wins. It's like, this dude might not harder his shit than I do. <laughs> <laughs> Which is good. It's how it's supposed to be. He's yeah. in his own comments. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. I love this video. Who yeah. is she? Like, yeah, yeah, I, like, I used to like argue like years ago, like on in Pornhub comments sometimes where people would be like, oh, this sucks or you breathe too loud or, you know. Yeah. Those comments yeah, not are... not like get mad at this, but all of it's valid criticism. Yeah. You know, and I, you got to be like, to me, I'm like, try to be my like, biggest critic, you know, but there's certain things where I think, well, if you don't like this kind of thing, then you go watch something else. Right, right. But right. like if it's too far off, it's like yeah, no, you're not even. But a there's fan certain things where it's like, okay, that's fair. Like you know, whatever. But right. Now I just I stay away from comment sections like that on porn and stuff because it's it's not a good look to be. You're arguing with like teenagers. Anyway. Yeah. yeah it's all... Well, that's who everyone's arguing with on the internet. It's teenagers. Yeah. yeah. They are the whole world. Yeah. They are. Some days the, I'm the not inter, The inter world. Yeah. This morning I hit someone back. I just saw like one thing and I was like, yeah, I'm up for that this morning. <laughs> now on I'm TikTok though, on TikTok, it's, it's still full. Like I'll, I'll full be on time. TikTok arguing with, with children. Yeah. <laughs> full yeah. blast. Yeah. The ones on TikTok. And I'll be on though. like, I'll see, cause like a lot of my, my TikToks like car videos. So I'll, I'll, you know, I'll see somebody like making some, Video being an asshole, like 
they own a BMW and they're making fun of like Mercedes or whatever. Or like an Audi TT. Mid. I'll just be like mid. Yeah. Like, <laughs> cause they love to like, a lot of people like online love to like pretend that the only time you get criticized is from people that like make less the money than you or less successful. But that's not always the case. <laughs> I, I just want to let people know that money you can, you can be rich and still be a hater. You know yeah. What I mean? But I mean, most of the hate is a lot of times from people that, you know, don't even own a car, but I think that's like the best thing. Gotta keep guys, keep, keep, you know, keep them humble a little bit. I'm just that's trying the, to help out. That's the best thing is like you make a TikTok with like the Lambo and like some 12 year olds like, Ferrari's better. <laughs> and you just get in the comments and you're like, no, it's not. Here's why. Yeah, like I'll see like, I'll, I, yeah, cause I'll, I'll see like a video of somebody being like, some kid making fun of McLarens or something. I'll be like, well, I've owned several McLarens and they're one of the best driving super car, modern supercars that exist. And then like immediately some kid will be like, yeah, right, fuck. Cause my avatar is like a picture of a cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they don't, which I love. Cause it's like, they don't, it's like, they're like there's no this way. guy's full of shit. And I'm just like, check the profile kid. And then you right, type dude. out your whole big long, like you make a, like a response and the kid's like, I can't even drive. <laughs> like the aesthetic of that to me. I like that. I like that too. You need for speed, my Ferrari's faster. Right. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go to school. But yeah. when I get out, oh, I'll be back. Once I comments. get my phone back from detention, you're getting burned out. Right. Adams. You're <laughs> Sorry, my don't brother think, took my don't, phone. Don't be confused and think that being a, a you know a multimillionaire porn star means I have a good life. I will be miserable with you in TikTok comment sections. That's right, because you're you're a man of the people. Yeah, he is. Yeah. You get I can't comments? let my life be like too good. What? Sometimes I get in the comments. I like Instagram's comments section. You're like safe though. Instagram. You're never mean. <laughs> yeah. In some, dude, I get. You're like, yo, it. thanks so much. I'll get into <laughs> it. I appreciate the criticism. I'll you're get like, into it. Fuck like, you, the, Cam. He's like, I've never looked at it that way. Maybe you're right. Thank you guys for joining us on this episode of Unemployable Podcast. Thanks again to Alex Adams and Nick for joining us today. Thank you. Real pleasure. Real pleasure for sure. And remember. Charge more, player. How do you feel about that? I like that one. More. <laughs> it felt kind of soulless. But I liked it better than the first one. It was better than yeah, the first one.